a lot of kids, that was heaven. And if you couldn't swim well, yikes. I don't <laughs> think you can understand. <laughs> She's not bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> she was a lifeguard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was a lifeguard there. She was a there. teenage lifeguard <laughs> out there. Oh, that's a whole other story. Sort of this review, I just, it's not even like an official review. It's just something I put together right before we got here because I watched this over the weekend. <laughs> so what the f? Gotta go and hang at Action, action Park, Park. <laughs> and die. People, Action Park. Some people probably know Action Park because you probably had a relative that lost a limb or died there. Action Park is this place in Jersey, man. It was a big, it's a big. That, that's all you need to know. First mistake, yeah. uh, a theme park in Jersey. Yeah. Hey, I lost a finger. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> man, this shit is insane. Through the seventies and eighties, man, it was an honor to lose your life or lose a limb at Action Park. And chances are, you, either you did or are, or, or there was a uh, there was a relative that did. Every kid that summer had some sort of bruise or they were missing teeth or something mm. happened at this park where they like, everybody's like, Action Park, like, yeah. Do they make you sign a waiver when you go no. in? No. 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 It's Jersey. No. Like, <laughs> did they not get sued back to the Stone Age? Martin. Mm -hmm. that's Martin. Martin. <laughs> Man, that's, that's, that, that is a great question. See, the thing with this is that this, uh, this all falls on this guy, Gene Mul Mulverhill. Mm-hmm. This guy Mulvaney? is uh, Mul, uh, was it? I thought it was Mulvaney, but it might be Mul Mulvaney. I thought it was Mulvaney. You got you probably got it right. But this dude right here, just here, here's a here's a hint about this guy, besides this greasy ass look. <laughs> this guy was connected with the penny stock uh uh scam oh, Jordan Belfort? with Jordan yeah. Belfort. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. He worked with Jordan <laughs> Belfort at one time. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. And when he and he got man, if you get disgraced over there before anybody else did. Because people did get disgraced, but they were just kind of still hanging around doing their thing. Like, he got kicked out the shit. Wow. <laughs> the Wolf of Wall Street said, you were too corrupt. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. way too corrupt. <laughs> so what he did was he made friends with an investor, and this guy would just always, he would always had his back. So whenever his penny stock thing uh, didn't work out, they said, what are you going to do next? He said, well, I got all this money. I got a guy who will actually just keep funneling money to me. I'm going to buy this land and just make a theme park. Without any kind of supervision, without any kind of approval, he says, I'm just going to go in there and just build shit because it looks fun. <laughs> yeah, Martin. Yeah, like, are we going to bring in engineers, architects? No. Nah. No. <laughs> no. Why? That's just wasting money. Yeah. <laughs> Why we need those kind of things when I already drew this shit in pencil and crayon? <laughs> nah, and he is dead serious. Like, he just threw, drew shit on a napkin and they built it. And you're like, <laughs> like people are going to die. Like, I don't know how much if we go like full in on this. Man, well, or... yeah. I'll tell you this. This is uh th th to let you know how crazy this park is. This is the park that inspired Johnny Knoxville to make a movie about oh. a park full of oh. full of dumb full of dumbasses that were willing to go out and kill kids. This baby can do. <laughs> now, <laughs> that movie, people say this is one of the worst things that Johnny Knoxville has ever done. But now people are saying, I kind of have a little more respect for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was in hindsight. Yeah, because they said, wow, we thought this was just, we thought he was just being stupid with this idea. We didn't know this actually happened mm. at one time. No one died in Johnny Knoxville's movie. Plenty of people died in this movie right here, which is a documentary. <laughs> okay. In all kinds of ways. Yeah. it's. It, it, I watched this the whole time with my mouth just open, going like, <laughs> what the f are you serious? And I wouldn't believe I wouldn't have believed it if they didn't have so much footage to prove it. This is class class action park based <laughs> off of Action Park, which class action park became a nickname mm -hmm. because there were so many class action lawsuits against this place. Why? Well, the trailer speaks for itself. For a lot of kids, that was heaven. And if you couldn't swim well, yikes. I don't think you can understand. <laughs> She's not bullshit. Yeah. She was a lifeguard. Yeah, yeah. She was a lifeguard there. She was a there. teenage lifeguard out there. Oh, that's a whole other story. It's like Action Park, if you don't understand the kind of minds that build it. The action If you were rejected by Disney because your ideas were too dangerous or crazy, 
you went to Action Park and built shit because they tell you, yeah, go ahead. You know, like a, yeah, like yeah. comic books where they have like the, the the doctor that went mad and did like human experiments. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Action Park was like. Come yeah. on over. The, yeah, Action Park was kind of like what uh, Nazis wear to Jewish experiments. <laughs> yeah, it's like the X Men's danger room. Yeah, yeah. water. Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> and Martin, like, it's, it's, bro, like, it's, it's, there's like there's different levels to this park too because they have like different worlds. Like, oh, here's mo- Motor World. We have go karts that don't have a speed limit on them, so you can just wild out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a waterland where the where the wave pool is overstuffed and like people are you don't bounce the same like in seawater as you do in chlorine water. So people are just going under and not yeah, coming back up. Yep. Wow. People were like yeah, they you know how they go through and uh they like check the pool for trash and, mm-hmm. and, and garbage and maybe turds or something. They check for human beings. Oh like they yeah. were looking to see people passed out under the water and they had mm. to pull them out of there. This is insane. This is on the level of, of Tiger King. Yeah. And, you know, th- this had a uh, uh, like a central personality. Right. That they could center on, who's still alive. This guy Gene Mulvihill is dead, if that's his name. I'm mm. not sure. He, he's dead. All you have is really uh, uh, just stock footage to go from and a narrator, and only the testimonies of people who were kids at the time who either went there all the time and survived, <laughs> or the the people who were teenagers and worked there. Uh, it's that level of insanity where you're looking at the whole. You might watch you watch Tiger King and be like, how this how the f- did this ever happen? Yeah. This makes me Tiger King is a better documentary, and of course, it deserves to be a little bit uh, a little bit more known. But this is the same thing. This is this actually made me ask that more than it did with Tiger King. Like, how the f- does this exist? <laughs> it's not a flashy documentary at all for those reasons. It's mostly just stock footage, old video footage. But that's what's effective in uh, in, in with with telling the story. Like, because seeing is completely believing here. Mm-hmm. The kind of crazy shit they're talking about. Yeah, and like the. The thing that's so great about it is it's, it's such grainy footage from the 80s. It kind of looks like a snuff film. Yeah. And that's kind of how it comes across. <laughs> nice. Because, like, you're like, oh, wow, like, these faces are a little blurred. I hope that person makes it. Like, I, <laughs> like it, it feels so weird because you, like, know at any second a nightmare could happen on this video because there are accidents mm. happening every day. I think one part that they say a hospital is, like, 90% of our calls were from Action Park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the police were like, that's most of the calls we get, emergencies from Action Park. Wow. It's not flashy. And it's even kind of cheap. Uh, I mean, they got this really bad flash animation that comes in between. <laughs> but the way they tell those stories and the way they show the impact of some of these accidents and these injuries, when you're watching that cheap-ass animation, you were like, oh, shit, that hurt. <laughs> and it's like a it's like cartoon, like the worst cartoon drawing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the yeah. way they tell the story and show it like a kid landing on their face with that drawing, you like, oh, my God, that f- hurt. And I'm watching a cartoon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A cheap cartoon, a badly drawn, cheap animation. But the but like like I said, some of these stories that they tell about how this place is run is so unbelievable, man. Any kind of visuals they put to it is incredible. Uh the place was one big death trap. <laughs> it was, you know, they had rides that never should have existed. They had a ride. This is crazy. Let me see if I can find it. They showed it. There it is. They had a ride that went into a loop, did something that human bodies should not do. Right. Yeah. And when I, you, you thought I was joking about how, you know, uh, Nazis experimented on Jews and whatnot. Like, they experimented on kids. <laughs> they paid, they yeah. just flashed $100 to kids. So, like, hey, we'll give you this if you just go into the loop. And kids went in there and got caught. Yeah, got stuck. Yeah. They got stuck. And they said later when they opened up a part of it, they just found teeth. Oh, <laughs> right. yeah. God. It's like anything that could have gone wrong with these rides went wrong and then some. Mm. Like yeah. things are like things are leaking gas, so all the water that they're in, and <laughs> oh, like, like you're just in a, a lake full of gasoline, and then there's snakes in the water too. <laughs> yeah, there's snakes in the water. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's part of the ride, Mark. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's wild. It's like it's like Dante's Inferno. You go from one hev- level of hell to the next one because you leave Motor World and like the goat carts. I guess yeah. there's no limit on it, so you can literally fly off the track. I think there's a little slide thing there. I don't know what you call it, like a toboggan or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going down that, and if you don't break at a certain time, you're just going off. And it's like you're not just going off into like a level level ground. You're going off like a mountainside, and people are losing like teeth. People are bruised up. People have cuts. People get concussions. And 
kids just kept going to the park because there were no rules, so you could do whatever the hell you want to. Yeah, that was it. There was no rules. The park was like, <laughs> it was like someone turned Lord of the Flies into a theme park. <laughs> yeah. Because hey, of, stop running. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, they, they didn't care. It was it was like it was like Lord of the Flies, the theme park, because the whole place was run by teenagers, drunk, horny teenagers. There were no hardly any adults around except the adults that paid to get in and were getting drunk and doing the same shit the kids were doing. Jesus. Mm-hmm. And across, like you had tons of water where these people were jumping off levels they shouldn't have uh, mm. jumped off of. They had they they were they would give people these wristbands and they had CFS on there, and they found out later that CFS stands for Camp Swim. <laughs> and they did, and that didn't stop them from letting them off. It just says, yeah, let them do whatever they want to. Just keep an extra eye on that one, because he's gonna be floating after a while. Wow. <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, they was. It's insane, man. And once you got through with the water part, the adults would just leave kids there and go and get drunk and go over to the motorized part where they would drive go karts and they had these tanks made out of like makeshift scrap metal that they would just drive into each other. One motherfucker went and got a tennis ball and dunked it in. And, and gasoline, so that when it shot out the the cannon of the tank, it, it was actually on fire. Jesus, <laughs> it's so know. great, man. Because like it's, every second you're watching this, you're like, it can't get any crazier than that. And yeah. then somebody does something like that where they yeah. turn make a fireball while they're doing bumper boats, or <laughs> or they take they take like there's a there's a slide that I'm pretty sure it's like a sheer drop straight down and yes. then go into the slide so like you're just yeah. sometimes you can fall off of it and just go straight forward so they get a oh, net that fuck. catches you but the net pushes you back down harder than you would have <laughs> damn man they, it's wild man there were moments where people would they were going off slides and they I mean I'm laughing because as you, as you will soon learn it, it's tragic because they would go off slides and they wouldn't even be attached to any kind of surface anymore they just be in air yeah they do flips and they would just be in air. They'd be flying. There would be parts that we'd go through tubes where bolts were sticking out. Oh, <laughs> yes, Jesus Christ. They were like, I think you said in the trailer, people got impaled. Yeah, impaled. And then and they would stop the ride for five minutes, get that kid out, <laughs> got and then get it right back they on. They said that there was a part of the pool where oh. there was shit and gore. And they had to constantly get it out because oh. there was always blood and, and, oh. and, and, and Visceral, feces. And yeah. Visceral, yeah, but mostly blood. Chunks of flesh. God. Yes, it, man, this was wild. And people, they talked about it because it was like, that's what you had to do if you were there at the time. You had to go to Action Park. You had to come back to the school year that next year and come back with a bruise, missing tooth or something. And Because that's that that was a sign of respect. Oh. A badge of honor. Okay. A badge of honor, okay. yeah. Even when they're talking about that uh, people die, you don't have a story attached to it. So you're just laughing the whole time because that's kind of the – Tone they set up. They're playing all this crazy music. They're showing all these drunk ass people, and then they finally get into like a real death that happened that shook the park up and shook the county up for a little bit. It was a, uh, it was a a, a guy, a teenager, George Law, George Lar- Larson Jr. Uh, died there. Forgot what happened with him, but he took him to the hospital and he was pronounced dead when he got there. And they do these testimonies with his mother. And his brother, and these people are just, they're like, we didn't really get any real justice because this this guy was able to, you asked how you got away with it. See, this is the whole thing about, people talking about, oh, the, the, the children, we care about the children. I have to, that, that, that city cared about money mm-hmm. because he bought off the whole city. Mm-hmm. Oh. He was able to just either hold, hold uh, uh, lawsuits in limbo. He thought it was a big thing. That was his strategy. He's like, yeah, sue me. I'll just make it hard. He had another strategy too with those lawsuits that they talked about in the movie. I'm gonna say, it. Uh, what, he set up a shell insurance company. Oh, and they like, said in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, okay, then yeah, he set up a, a shell insurance company. So when you would sue them, they'd be like, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna figure it out, and then they would just keep delaying and keep delaying. And like yeah. some people got their payouts, but they were much later and much less than what they should have been. Yeah, wow. probably sp- sp- broke even barely. Mm-hmm. And that George Larson dude, I think he was one of the ones that was on the the downhill slalom, and he went over it. And when he went over, his head uh, hit, a, hit a rock on the hill. Yep. And That's he just, right. He just kept going. And then, yeah, he was out. They had lawsuits mm. saying, like, our, the, the counter argument was, uh, it was The Rock's fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not yeah. trying to laugh, but. I know, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it wasn't the slightest say that. it was a rock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, the fact yeah. that he just said that, like, it's the, it's the Rock's fault. But this guy bought off so much of the town and was able to get people fired who would report on him. And. And yet, that's what's the, the the crazy thing about this is that this was such a 
this was such a, a rite of passage for the town. Like this is where people lost their, you know, as teenagers lost their virginity. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, this is when they went back to school and bonded over their injuries. That even today, like some of the uh, the, uh, the the people that they interview, most of them are uh, uh, adults who were teenagers at the time who either went to the park every summer or worked there. And even when they're talking about saying, like, this park should never have existed. It was a horrible place. They still had this tone of nostalgia, adoration like, and nostalgia aww. for it. And even, even for this guy, they're Those like, yeah. The days. Yeah, and people even who, who even hated this guy even said, like, but, you know, I got to talk to him before he died. And he was, you know, he's just a complex guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. We're, talk, we're simply talking about it. Um, I can see how people could talk about this park like this. Because even they're so crazy, these stories. Mm hmm that, you know, I mean, you can't help but get jovial about some of the things you say because they're so ridiculous. But the documentary tries to end on that same kind of note of nostalgia and and fun after they've talked about the deaths that have happened yeah. and how much of a, a piece of shit this guy could be. And it's like, yeah, it's kind of hard to get back into the fun once you've talked about all that stuff. Sure. Seeing the mother cry and how they didn't get mm. any justice really or anything. It's It's... Yeah, I mean, but it does have to be seen. I mean, it's on HBO Max. Mm -hmm. I would definitely. I mean, like, if I had to give it a rating, I would probably say a high matinee. Uh, but I would also say it's kind of a must see. And then, like, also, like, I, I agree with you too. It's definitely like a matinee film. Um, there's a there's a, a YouTube channel called Defunct Land, and they did like a little story. I've seen on this. some of those. Yeah, and they did a story on this, and I still didn't know like a good chunk of the, the the stuff that happened in here. So like I didn't know like he had this the shell company and all this, all these other things. But there was something that they had in the in the Defunct Land ep uh, episode that they didn't have in this, which was one of the problems that they had were like a lot of adults coming in that didn't speak English, and so like they had teenagers trying to boss adults like drunk adults <laughs> that, that only spoke like Arabic and Spanish and shit. And, <laughs> <laughs> and they just end up fighting. So you got like lifeguard, teenage lifeguards fighting with grown ass men and women. They showed how there was hazing going on. Like teen, really, this was like a, this was like a, a pleasure land in Mac, in, in, in Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> <laughs> like like oh, you no, wonder all these it, kids no, gonna turn to donkeys at, at some point. Somebody gonna come and get them, put them to work because that's crazy. It was uh, it was just yeah. a, a theme park where kids got drunk. We're talking about like not 18 year olds, like 16, 17 year olds. 15 get, year olds. 15 year olds yeah. getting drunk and just sleeping there. They had this big party and then they show footage of like them a 14 year old came in and they would just, they would make them drink a six pack and shit. You know, it's, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, it's insane. They had footage of it. They got this little 14 year old who's drinking. <laughs> you can tell he's just like, he's just scared. He's just, he's drinking his eyes and just. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's yeah, man. It's this is really one of the craziest things that I've seen. And yet, and like you said, like they, it feels weird laughing about it and talking about it and having a good time with it. But all these people who survived this experience, you know, enjoy it. So I guess we can go along with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, uh, that yeah. thing they got electrocuted though. There was yeah, somebody died. And the thing is, they like the only reason why you kind of feel anything for the deaths is because they put a highlight on it. You know, yeah. with that story of George Larson Jr. Mm -hmm. Like they had one person that got electrocuted and they just said, Yeah, well, it happens. They they knew what they were getting into. Wow. Yeah. They had a fan that broke. And I guess the electricity had a certain radius and somebody went into it and they just found their body and like Keep it going, and that's the, <laughs> that's the same bumper bo uh, boat course that had the snakes and the gasoline water. Uh -huh. So you had snakes, gasoline water, electricity. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> a combo. And this park was still open. <laughs> I mean, you laugh at, you almost laugh at how tragic it is. This was stupid, and people just say, "How yeah. many years was it open?" It meant like over ten years. Mm. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I figured like, it would be. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like seventy, that seventies, eight, maybe about ten years, maybe a little bit over. But 70s and 80s, it was out there. How, how long was it open? Too goddamn long. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was, that's it's crazy, people. It's on HBO Max. I think it's one of the biggest things they had over this weekend. Somebody told me to watch it. A friend of mine in Dallas told me to watch this. So I I, I did just on a whim because we were watching another show. And I was like, oh, it's that show you was talking about. And I just kind of put it on. I thought I was going to turn it off. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm seeing this through. <laughs> I got to know where this goes. I got to see what happens next. Yeah, people, check it out if you can. If you have HBO Max, Class Action Park, playing right now. <laughs> <laughs>